Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to more Pokemon Y. Last time we met here just outside of Route 16, and in this episode we're gonna head back into Lumio City just so we can do some extra stuff. So let's head back inside and we'll just see what these people have to say first. And uh, yeah, I'll we'll just well I talked to her already. I didn't need to speak to her again. Uh, what's going on with you then? Anything interesting? Route 16. Yeah, I know it is. Uh, what about you? Yup, nothing important. And uh, this last person, nothing at all. All right, sweet. So. The reason we're back here in Lumio City is because to do the Lost Hotel, we are going to need some specific stuff. And by specific stuff, I mean we are going to need to know all the roller skate tricks. So, here's the first person here. You can talk to her. I think I spoke to her already and got the backflip. And I'm going to show you guys the rest of the locations for uh, the rest of the moves. So, we are going to make our way towards the uh, Vert Plaza or Ver Plaza. I think it's, well, it is French, but. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Ver, not Vert, I think. This is the, uh, Juan Plaza, which is not the right area. And that's just gonna lead me back into, uh, the North Boulevard, isn't it? Yeah, so, when I get to the Ver Plaza, I'm gonna talk to someone there who will teach us a new roller skate move. And, uh, great, I'm, like, so bad at, like, going through all the plazas and stuff. And, yeah, this is the right way towards a new one anyway, so... Over here is the Verge Plaza, or Ver Plaza, and you know it's the Ver Plaza because you have the green statue, and Ver is green in French. So, talk to this person here, and they'll give you another new move. I think I may have spoken to them all already off stream by mistake, so I apologize for that, but if you speak to them all, they will uh, give you new moves and stuff. I don't know where the uh, cafe is for the roller skates, so I'm just going to go and uh, take a quick cab there to the uh, Rolau, I think it's this one, so we'll go there and just use a cab for the first time ever. I've never actually used one in the game, so. Alright, here we are, it's a thousand, it said 710, but whatever, I think that's like the normal charging fee. So, if we talk to this person here, we can talk to uh, them, oh, it's Trickmaster. trick master, so we get the roller skate 360, which is pretty cool. And I believe there's one more we can speak to. So, we need to go to South Boulevard for that. And, uh, I'm gonna use the bike, not the dowsing machine. So, let's just quickly get through here. And, uh, this is towards the Prism Tower, so I need to, like, find my way through here. Uh, let's, oh, Centric Kovas, and then the Prism Tower is the thing. So, yeah. Alright. Anyway. This is Vernal Avenue. I think this should lead me to the South Boulevard. Which is where we want to go. And, uh, yeah, so that's good. And we are in South Boulevard. Awesome. So, we want to head over this way, and it's in a building around here. You'll see a girl with roller skates, like you've seen already with other people. Uh, I think it may be in here. I hope it is. That'd be very good. It'd be very convenient if it was. Nope. She's on the bottom floor, so you'll be able to see her as soon as you go in, which is very handy. And, uh, I, keep, I need to change that around. I keep using that, but I meant to use the, uh, dowsing machine. Or the, the, um... I keep intending to use the uh, the bicycle, not the dowsing machine. But we'll see what's in here. Is she in here? Yes, she is. All right, sweet. And if you talk to her again, she'll teach you another move. So there you go, guys. That's where you get all the moves that you need to enter the lost uh, hotel. In case you're wondering how you can do it. And now what we're gonna do is fly all the way back to uh, back to Dendemil Town, which is over here. And or De yeah, Dendemil, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. But we'll head over here. And we'll head into the Lost Tower. Or, oh, I keep saying Lost Tower, I don't know why, it's the Lost Hotel. Or I keep, like, wanting to say Lost Tower, but it's Lost Hotel. That's where we want to go. So, first we'll heal up, because my Pokemon looked a little bit weak. Uh, because I didn't actually go to the Pokemon Center after the last route, I just, like, started recording this straight after, so... Let's heal ourselves up to full HP. And when you go into the, uh... Into the Lost Hotel, you probably want to have a Pokemon with Rock Smash, and by probably, I mean you will. Want to have a Pokemon with a Rock Smash because you can uh, get through it. Like, there's some stuff in there that's hidden, and you can get it with Rock Smash. All right, so uh, I kind of want to spray a Repel to avoid any wild battles. You can't find wild Pokemon. There's a trainer card. I didn't mean to go on that, but um, yeah, you can find like wild Pokemon in the uh, Lost Hotel. You can find um, you can find Klefki, and you can find. Uh, Magneton. That's, they're like the first two that come into my head. I'm sure there's probably other stuff in there, but I haven't really searched in depth because I haven't really been looking in depth for stuff. Do I even need, do I need to spray repel? I don't even think I did. Um, I guess it's just, well, yeah, I didn't even need to. All right, so let's head down here. And this is the Lost Hotel. I came here because I heard there was some great roller skater, but 
It seems like my skills as a roller skater still aren't quite up to snuff. Right, okay, so you're gonna see a lot of uh, these guys, the thugs, or the, like, uh, Rockstar, or whatever their name is. Punks. Yeah, punks. Punk guy. He needs a Scrafty. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. You'll find all these guys in here that you can battle and whatever. And what we will do is go for a nice, powerful uh, Horn Leech on this Scrafty. Don't know if it'll kill Scrafty. Does have decent bulk. And yeah, it's a 2 hit jail, so chip away. I don't even, like, what does, I can't even remember what chip away does. It doesn't do a lot, though. It's like a normal move, I think, but it's not really strong, so. Anyway, second Horn Leech is going to take that out. And it is not enough to get me back to full HP, which sucks, but I don't really need to be at full. So there we go. And Hawkeye up to level 50, so that's awesome. I think that's everything in level 50. We have a Sharpedo coming in, and because Sharpedo is a water type, I don't see any reason to switch out. It's also dark type. But we're going to go for Horn Leech and just knock that out. And yeah, Sharpedo is kind of pitiful defenses, so you can take it out pretty quickly. Uh, if it is the... Uh, okay, it's not that one, but... There is a potential for it to have Speed Boost, which is a move that boosts up its speed every turn. And, uh, or at the end of every turn, so pretty interesting. Finally, we have Pawniard, which I don't think I have anything for. I will go with Rascal, I guess. I can just go for Rock Smash. It is a super effective move four times, so hopefully it will kill, despite being, like, one of the weakest fighting-type moves in existence. But, yeah, Pawniard is level 39, and we will just, uh, Rock Smash it. And, actually, I have Earthquake. I don't know why I went for Rock Smash, but... Rock Smash does enough anyway, so I didn't need to waste my Earthquakes. Alright, sweet. So, easy trainers are easy, and yeah, I'm overleveled. I know, but <laughs> I'm, I'm saying that like every episode now. I was like, I know I'm overleveled, so you don't need to tell me, but I don't think anyone has ever actually told me either. No one's really given out about that, which is good. Thanks for that, because I know some people have gotten a lot of flack for having overleveled Pokemon and stuff. Anyway, let's check out this bin, or trash can, yeah, it's the same thing. And, uh, this person has a Viper, which is a good thing I let off with my, uh, with my Tyrantrum. Does have Earthquake. And, yes, Viper is a pure Poison-type Pokemon. And it's on level 40, so what we'll do is go for an Earthquake. And just KO this thing, so, yeah, it should definitely one-shot it. And, nice, powerful, I love the Earthquake animation, it's, like, really good. Looks really cool. But... We have that taken out, and that's up to level 50 for Rascal, or up to level 50 for Rascal. And next up, well, Excalibur gets up to 52, so everything's on level 50, which is great. Next up we have Arbok, so she has like two poison snakes. This girl likes her snakes. And uh, yeah, we'll just go for another Earthquake. I think even after Intimidate, I'll still knock it out. And yeah, that's no problem. Easy does it. Alright, sweet. So, that was easy enough. And G or yeah, Gian. Um, I don't really like how you can spell Lian that way, but not Gian or Jean, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> it's probably pronounced Jean, and I just like messed up. But there's a smoke ball, and uh, you can see this part's blocked off. But we did see that part on Route 16, so we'll be heading back there, I guess, once we uh, finish up in this main part. Bad to the bone without a care in the world. That's us, all right. Rev against everything. That's us, all right. Down with the man, man. Hippies. <laughs> Even though they're not hippies, they're just like rockers. But Pangoro and Garboder. Not a bad matchup at all. But we do have Rascal and Giddy up at the front, so we are doing quite alright. And uh, what we'll do is go for, I think, uh, go for Earthquake. Or not Crunch, no, Earthquake. And uh, yeah, I won't do that much to Giddy up because Giddy up is just a beast. And I'll go for Horn Leech on the uh, Pangoro. So. That is going to do a lot to the Garboder and take it out, which is awesome, which is what I was intending to do. And uh, we can get a Horn Leech off on the uh, Pangoro, which may take it out from that range and get me back to full. Yes, it does. All right, that was just perfect teamwork. That was really good synergy from uh, from Rascal and Giddy Up. Way to go, guys. Awesome. All right, so level 51 for Go Goat, and that's it. All right, sweet. Cool, that was actually a pretty decent battle. That went, right, that went really well. My plan worked perfectly, which is great. Alright, so let's switch uh, Greninja to the front, because he needs some love. And, uh, blocked off there. And we have this person here, so... Uh, okay, she doesn't say anything important. What about in here? 
Got a wild Pokemon actually hiding in here. Trubbish! Alright, you can find wild guard boners in the cans too, I believe, so... Yeah, if you're looking for those for some reason, then by all means try and get one, but... I'm not a big fan of Trubbish or Garbodor. I don't like hate them because of how they look, because, I mean... There's others that look worse. Anyway. Now that we have the uh, all the tricks, we can go see the boss. If you don't have all the tricks, you're not going to be able to go back here, so make sure you go back to Lumios and get them all. And he thinks Stu's a good name, which is awesome. So, now that we've done that, he is going to teach us the final move, which is the Cosmic Flip Trick. And that's pretty awesome, so... Way to go, alright, we did good. And, uh, they say he could once captivate the hearts of all of Lumio City, dashing through her streets. The legendary roller skater and his legendary move. I really want to learn it. Cool, alright, uh, trash can is empty. And if you come over here, we can use a Rock Smash. And we can get ourselves a pretty nice TM, it's a Dark-type move. I think it's, uh, I don't know what number it is, I think it's TM97 Snarl? I know it's Snarl, but I don't know if it's 97. 95! Very, very close, but not quite. So, I guessed it, I almost guessed correctly. Unfortunately for me, it was incorrect. But we can also get ourselves a Twisted Spoon back here, which is good for boosting up the stats of, uh, Kadabra. And Alakazam, I believe. So, Rappel, we're off, I'll just spray another one. And yeah, we've pretty much covered this section of the Lost Hotel. So what we'll do is head up to the next route, or head down to Route 16 and go into that entrance and see what's going on there. So, let's just get out of here and uh, not use the Dawson Machine. I'm so used to having it on up from, like, on my Pokemon X, that's where I have it. So, this is Route 16 and we're just going to head, like, right through this grass into the Lost Hotel Part 2. And uh, we got Rock Smash here, but we got a trainer to battle first. So, let's see what Pokemon we got here. And he has one Pokemon, so that's good, and it is a wild Dunsparce, or not a wild Dunsparce, it's a Dunsparce. Dunsparce is pretty wild though, so gotta be careful here. Uh, yeah, Dunsparce level 42, we'll just go for a Surf, and that should hopefully kill it. And if it does, that would be great. Almost. And it's gone for Glare, great, so we are going to be getting paraflinched, because that's what this thing does. Alright, so... Alright, we still have- wow, okay, I still have sped even regardless of the paralysis. And there we go, so Dunspire is taken care of, alright. I'm totally okay with that. And yeah, we have sped even though we were paralyzed, which is kind of rare, because Pokemon has to be like really slow for that to happen. Okay, so let's get rid of this uh, paralysis by using a paralysis heal. And we will just see what is behind door number one. I, need, I probably should get off the bike, because the control is sort of... Weird when trying to get to the center of a giant rock. Zilp behind door number one. Door number two. Has an item. Sweet. Alright, so we get a dread plate. We can be used to turn Arceus into ghost form Arceus. And uh what's behind door number three? Hopefully something decent. Uh dowsing machine. Nope. Nothing, uh, anything over here? Nope, just nothing in there. That's uh, that, well, that sucks. Trainer, do you battle? Uh, okay. Cool, so she gives us TM56 that contains Fling. And we can use Fling to throw an item we're holding at an opponent. For example, if, well, you can throw a berry at someone if you're in a double battle, like she just said. Or if you have a, uh, Toxic Orb or something, you can throw it at your opponent and they'll get poisoned. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Well, if they're not steel type or poison type, obviously. And I'm just like running around trying to talk to this guy, but he's evading me. All right, so here we go. We'll take on this guy. And yeah, we're almost done here, I think, because there's not much else we can get. So Jack here has a skunk tank, and skunk tank is decently bulky. It's actually pretty strong too. It's a poison and dark type, so very interesting typing. And we'll just go for a surf because I can't go for like extra sensory or anything while with it being a dark type. And Surf is still going to KO it regardless, so that's awesome. And up to level 51 for Frog, awesome stuff, I like to see. And next up we have ourselves a Cronaunt, which is a Water-type Pokemon, the evolved form of uh, Corphish. So we'll definitely want to go out into Heliolisk and just go for a Thunderbolt. So that's what we'll do, and Cronaunt here is on level 40. It's a water and dark type, so this guy is packing some dark types. And we'll just go for a nice powerful T-Bolt and knock this thing out. So, there it is, easy as pie. 
And yeah, we just defeat that trainer with no difficulty at all. Alright, so level 51. And, uh, that's it. Alright, Jack is defeated. He's like, forgive me, he's like, eek. That's not very, uh, punk of you, my friend, to say eek. Alright, so another punk here to battle. We have a lot of punks. And, uh, they are pretty much punks when it comes to battling, too, because they're pretty easy. So, a Lipard, which is a Dark-type Pokemon. We've seen Lipard a couple of times already, I believe, with Team Flare. And, yeah, we're just gonna go for Surf. And that should one shot it, because Lipard has, like, really pathetic defenses. So, Surf is gonna knock it out. And, next up, we have... Rascal up to 51 first, of course. Uh, that always seems to happen. Another life heart, great. So, just giving me stuff that's easy to take out. I like that. All right, so let's go for surf, and this should easily knock this thing out. And there it is. All right, sweet. Cats don't like water. That's why life heart is like dying to one surf. All right, sweet. So there we go. Punk girl defeated. And, uh, I believe, yeah, there's an item over there. Actually, I don't even know, I don't even know, I don't even need to go this long way around. I can just go right here and get, I think that's, like, the only item left, too. So, let's see what we got here. We got a protector, which I believe, uh, protector is what you give to Rhydon to evolve it into Rhyperior, but you have to trade it to get Rhyperior. Pretty sure that's the protector. So, if you want to get one of those, then by all means do. And, uh, do we have anything else around here? Trash can. And there's like no hidden items either, so I think that is pretty much my exploration of the Lost Hotel done, and I've pretty much got everything I can. Uh, just check every trash can, because you never know, something might pop out. But, yeah, I've gotten all the items, uh, got beat all the trainers and stuff, I did pretty good. So, with all that said and done, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode, and in the next episode, we are going to explore Dendemil Town. I haven't actually explored it yet. And we are also going to be heading to the Frost Cavern. So, I thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys for more shortly enough. Catch you guys then.